Good morning Wednesday and everyone who stitch with me on Wednesdays and if you diamond paint that is totally fine with me as well no big deal you can see this attractive braid in here that I untangle all my threads from here and just hand them over and we are going to start our European town so I have to start over okay so I have in here my threads which today we will work with you with white threads and because I have here such a good area and somebody need to stitch it right all this orange color we have tons of work to do here but first I will answer some question I have in here my thread that I did not thread in my needle yet this is what left I pull out three threads from my previous uh, stitching and then I have three more now the question is was uh, do I wax all the time my thread or not I have to say not uh, I do not wax my thread all the time only sometime when I feel like my threads more tangle up some threads could be a little bit more softer depends on which stitch um, kit I work uh, some threads like browns could be um, more softer so I don't use this all the time but today we will use why not and what I do first so there's the three threads in here uh, if I wax them all together and later stitch they will create the bandy places then layer very smooth so I separate them by one so I'm just gonna pull one thread all the way Okay, just a minute. Okay, wait. Stuck, stuck. For some reason, stuck. Okay, let's try from another side for this guy. Maybe I will need to use another thread. Make this one something. No, okay, I pull out one. Now I'm gonna stretch this. And let's see if we can separate one more. Definitely something's going on in here. See, like it could sometimes could be some um not okay we're not going to fight with it i'm just gonna pick another i will work on it later of my video so i'm just gonna pull out one from here so the good thing because it's hanging over it's easy to just grab the thread and literally just pull out from the braid like this and we are done in here so now maybe I think there's a those threads that left it was like a little knot up there because I was fighting with it last time so that's okay we're gonna get two threads from here just separate one and we're gonna get one more in here okay there no big deal all right so now I will put them one corner, I mean one side all together. And make sure I now smooth them all so no not tangle up over over in here. Okay, so you can tell that some threads is this one probably where I pull out from my next thread so or maybe this one was from first because it was one two of them like a tails in here see like close with each other at one longer so that's what happened we're just going to chop this ends in here to make the even and now I will usually I can put right away in my needle or just right now run through my wax and I did turn turn my wax around because this one like very very shredded pieces already so I just opened this case and kind of turn around so now it's like a brand new wax in here on the top again and this will help me you see have those threads in here kind of like a wiggle so the wax will help to strain them out make them more smooth kind of give rid of all this maybe even one more time because there's a three threads in here so they can all get coat okay we're done with this and you see how now it's kind of like 
nice and straight line they all kind of attach with each other this will help us to create more like a um, smoother lines okay i'm just trying to get my needle i have a two needles in here which one i want to have okay probably this is the one that i usually work with so yeah, it it depends what I stitch. Like I say, I don't always use my wax, but it will be nice if you use all the time because trust me, with the wax, your stitches will look much much nicer. Okay, so I will continue uh, part in here. So I will zoom the camera close in here so you know where. Oh, where we are all done somewhere in here and because i raised my camera okay I need to back up a little bit oh now looks like it's going to be good uh, we'll see so i will start probably from the top and i will start my usual thing that i go from the top right corner to the left bottom corner you already know my style of starting right like that and now I will create my stitches we will over stitch this tail now and will be cut them out so they don't tangle anymore I have to say that with wax your stitches will look much neat so if you don't have a regular beeswax for example um, like I already showed you before I had like a real honey beeswax like this this fishy you can see it's very used and abused I still use sometimes uh, or this one you can buy in any stores uh, that has cross stitched the stores that I review and they work great work great and actually I like that it's in a case so it doesn't get dusty okay so now I will chop shorter this little tail that we started in here other thing that I love this uh, scissors they are so nice and sharp the edges love them and they have in two colors now we're gonna place in here and the whatever leftover tail will go under okay it's a little bit complicated here right now because I have this tails hanging in here went right on my okay I keep touching my canvas underneath just to make sure my threads don't tangle okay it will be easier since we pass few of these lines to give it all this dress that's on my way right now two in here that's gonna going from from here i believe this white threads that i'm stitching right now they were layering really nice without wax i really like this thread so that's why i really did not use wax for some other green threads Sometimes I'm using wax. And this wax with this will dissolve in the water as soon as you wash your canvas. And it's basically not visible. But in a darker color, you can see a little bit uh, discoloration. Because, okay, I will leave it this one tail for one more time. I know it's because I think it's coming from this next row. So I will cut a little bit later. Let me get here. So 
so yeah the darker color sometimes you can see like a dullness or like a dark brown or black color if you're using a wax you will see residue of the wax on the threads but don't worry about that since you wash your canvas it will dissolve in the water and you're not gonna see it it will be nice and clean canvas okay let's just go through this tricky part One more, I will do. Okay, just have to. I just have to finish this one. Kind of hard to see right now. And I know my finger on the way create a little bit shadow, but hold on, I just have to hold on to this tail. After this one, few stitches, we will eliminate that. I will do full stitch right in here just for in case I have to over stitch the thread underneath that it's tail hanging out right now right so now I will cut this little piece to give it all out of my way gonna send this leftover of the tail on another side just like that that's it oh my goodness it's dark for me in here I might have to bring my magnifier to me uh, haha. okay you know what it's I'm gonna lower my camera a little bit lower and readjust because I don't know if it's going to be better or not. Just a minute. I don't like the way it is. And I will bring a light to me. And let's see if we can get close now. Okay, see, now I can get you a little bit close. Maybe not much. It, it trusts me. It's a rainy day, so it's very, very dark for me. I have to use light, unfortunately. Okay, now I can see better because my eyes start to kind of get foggy a little bit. Okay, so now we are going to give it of this tilted on my way in here and then it's going to be open field after this. And I will cut this right now. After last time we stitched with you and we were stitching with you with this green color so I go ahead and I kind of place lots of um, stitches of this color all the way around so now all the excess in here disappear it's just a plus left so I can work on that one next maybe color Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, sorry. Sorry, blind you. You know what? I can't wait. Almost did the wrong stitch. I need to go from the bottom yet. Uh, I cannot wait till summer because the day will be so much longer, so much brighter. And at the same time, I even create videos like outdoor, which is nice and bright, not to struggle with all these shadows and a grumpy <laughs> rainy days. You know what I miss? I miss camping a lot, thinking about this every single day, because I'm having so much fun, especially in the morning when we just wake up. I usually 
make a coffee and then I go on a deck outside grab my 11 count cross stitch that used to be on my puppy I don't know what I will work this summer on maybe something different and I would stitch sit coffee the birds is chirping I can hear the lake waves uh, you know and it's so peaceful and looking at through the window right now on, on that snow which a lot already melt it's raining and then in a few days from now it's going to be snow again so I'm actually glad that snow have a time to melt before it's accumulate more definitely now you see how nice oh it's a little bit still far from you for you to see how nice and straight those threads layer after I wax them totally will be you will see a little bit different because this one even this axis are nice this one still will be nicer which I think when I wash my canvas those the other ones also a little bit loose but the tensions of the threads can lose a little bit as well because this one is already straight and the other one just need to straighten out in the wash okay so this is like a nice good X right now oh, look how nicely they layer oh you cannot see it I have to readjust my camera maybe hmm. well, I might have to put you on the top of my canvas right now I have diamond pin tin case on the top of my case I mean on the top of my canvas but maybe I can okay are you ready for a ride uh -huh. Let's try it. <laughs> I will readjust or lift. Oh, hold on. But it's going to be right sits on the top of my cross stitch. Okay, hold on. Hold on a little bit. I will bring my book. I don't really want to stop another time. Usually that's what I do. I keep. I keep forgetting I should do this right away. I will put my book under my canvas. Okay, I have to move my light away. Let's do some readjustments because I don't like the way you're far away. You cannot see very well. Just give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay, okay. I have to put you aside and readjust. I'm very sorry for all this inconvenience for you okay now one leg will stay on the book the other one maybe we can stretch to the side of the table is it gonna work better or not really don't know i really don't know <laughs> I'm trying. Nope. I think from this angle you still will see my stitches a little bit better. Yeah, I think so. Now it's like a more more straight. I could probably try more to bring a more close and readjust camera even more. This is like the whole process. Not so easy, I have to say. Oh see you can see my stitches a little bit more this way okay just remind me not to go lower this point because you're not going to see nothing okay we are good see my canvas still soft sometimes i have to tighten up this frame and i the another question i think i answered it before but that's okay it's never um, it's never enough to remind over and over because I know that not everybody watching every of my video uh, what to do if frame keep losing tension so um, I have one of this kind of frame that also my top handle of this frame this white piece not as tight 
and that maybe maybe because I switch my you know how sometimes I readjust and mix and match my canvas um, those frames square frames and maybe one of those uh, white part that the holding canvas on a frame got mixed with another one and attentions to that will be different so one of my canvas keep losing up as well uh, and that is my Hyatt that I'm stitching so what I did just to give myself a little bit experiment which I did talk about this before that it's possible to do that but this time I actually did it by myself just to see if I'm talking the right thing or not I put paper towel on the top of my canvas and then close my frame with the top part and now I have a good good tension it's not slipping away anymore and it's so much easier to stitch this way so when you feel like your frame not holding tension and you have to keep fixing all the time just put like a little maybe like a tea towel or paper towel as I did I grab one piece uh, it's like a small pieces of, tea, uh, of paper towel I fold it on half and I place right on the top of my fabric and then top part of the plastic work awesome looks really good and it's not losing as like I just started to stitch again on this one and um, work very well try it and see if it's work for you if you don't have a paper towel it's like a little tiny towel maybe using for a kitchen but for cross stitch of course for your canvas I would recommend to use uh, that it's not used like brand new so it's no stains or something that can be you know some grease transport to your canvas and it's gonna be stained not go away so just grab something new go to the store and buy brand new tiny towel if you have to but if you have paper towel that you already set you don't have to waste any money even some white piece of fabric if you have a leftover maybe some fabric laying around that will work too if you have some maybe used uh, bed sheet sheets like a bed and stuff sheets for the mattress thing and you not use them anymore because you bought a new one just wash those bleach so they are nice and clean no stains on it like no grease whatever and you can recycle and reuse any piece of fabric uh, some girls using even like a white felt that will work too but the felt has a different thickness some could be um, uh, thicker those one would be hard to get probably into the frame but uh, thinner pieces of felt even dollar store sell them that will work as well and now with the dollar store you can buy like the whole pack of felt little, little squares like, not squares rectangles but good size maybe like four by six I don't know that will help as well for you now I wonder if from this point you can see difference between these stitches and this one that I stitch without wax like for me on the camera it's a very little view for you on computer you probably will see bigger screen and um, you can see better difference but I have to say that with wax it, it really helps so if you want your stitches layer always nice it's good to have wax there is another tip how to layer your threads very nice and not twisted I can show you in my different video it's not gonna work in here because we will need a two threads in here we stitch with three so that simple a sample or tip will probably not gonna work on 11 count either so hopefully I remember and I will show you next tip how to layer nice something where I will stitch uh, 14 count which I did mention about the tip long long time ago but I will repeat 
there is a possibility I might will create a new video because my video uh, crusted for beginners um, pretty much very popular because I put up there lots of tips in one video lots of tips how to start how to finish and all those tips and tricks that I do for myself and I post it in that video but this since then uh, every time here and there I give you some new tips right so I might will recreate again video for beginners and add absolutely everything to this point that I teach you in my whips and chat video so I will have to kind of sit down write down all the everything that I want to put in the video and then I will create video by having an example of 14 count and 11 count also I have a question how I grid my canvas on counted cross stitch which I did have the tutorial already um, if you wish to look in my cross stitch uh, if I would think I was doing like little by little I give you some tips but the, I remember I was doing some particular cross stitch and I show how to there has to be video in my cross stitch uh, playlist have to start maybe and count it because I remember I already showed you how I grid my canvas but I cannot think of right now which canvas I was using as an example um, so if you cannot find it I will have to maybe recreate just to put proper title of the videos will be easy to find or create tips and tutorials for beginners like a new playlist I know I have already lots of playlists but that one maybe would be like a playlist 101 or so everything will be in one playlist instead of all cross stitch like I have I know I have I created couple of playlist which cross stitch um, which I do and unboxing and whips at the same time then I have a separate um, playlist for my horses canvas and I have a separate list that I started from my Hyatt but there's not too many videos of Hyatt yet because I am preparing I'm stitching these days also I did some good progress so you will see the video shortly as well and maybe I should create video tips for beginners or like um, cross stitch have to I would say maybe this kind of name have to or a from A to Z something like that okay comment below what playlist for beginners should be so if any beginner stop by on my channel it would be easy for them to find that particular videos help me out please what would you like title to say and if I do have a beginners in here right now uh, that would be like great opportunity to help me with this so I can create more videos for you okay in here I'm trying to get to this side because I like to stitch from right to left so usually I go one side like this to the point where I need to be and then I'm kind of starting my usual way and I'm using just the one hand right now so less shadow created just controlling my thread one time I created a little knot on the back of the canvas and I did not see it 
and I thought, oh, too bad I don't record video right now because that would be a perfect example to show you how I fix that because if you close, like if you create a knot on a background of your canvas, just create it. It's easy to fix it right away, or pull out your thread and undo, right? But if you already stitch couple lines and then you realize there's a tangle knot on the back. So if it's untied accidentally, your threads will be kind of loose on the top as well. So you have to eliminate that knot. So usually if I see that I cannot fix anymore from the back or from the front, so I just found myself how to stitch that knot so it's not gonna like untangle. Oh, poor squirrel climbing on the top of my house. And she's wet, wet, wet. Poor thing, it's raining. So sometimes uh, this tips in my head creating like um, what I should teach you it just sometimes it's come with my own experience if I create some kind of messy parts in my stitching okay I think I will wiggle in here right now on this lower part of the canvas Yeah, I will create like from here to here this part and then here is more on the open so I can do this later because my thread will be short kind of quick so when I start new thread that's what I can go on the top area and stitch more when I don't stitch this canvas to be honest I missed it I really love to work on this canvas. Still, str still like in a strong. And because I created right now for myself more work, like you know, weekly stitch progress on the canvases that we pick by the spinner, so now I can't really go work on different canvases because I have a plan to do and at this point you don't know what I pick for my next week number three because I did not tell you okay I'll go down here and so you don't know what I'm stitching and my Poor Julie, I'm so sorry. You were expecting me to stitch in the video as well, by weekly stitching. And my video was like an hour and a half. She said, I wish you would stitch a little bit with us in this kind of long video. And I thought, you know, I knew some of you <laughs> will think that was wrong of me not to stitch but I thought okay if I even will stitch a little bit more with you that will be so long video because there was like so much information I wanted to share with you that literally I did not have time to stitch together but since you like to, to have that it's mean I have to find a room plus I didn't plan in the first place to do midpoint of the cross stitch but then some of you wanted midpoint so I kind of after I created my first um, part of the video I realized okay I guess I have to create middle point so that I did not plan at first so that's why kind of created me a little bit longer and I thought okay let me try and test what will be happen if I don't stitch with you together will you like it or not and I'm not surprised that some of you still 
wanted me to stitch together even we do have a video every Wednesday stitching you still like to see me stitch every time so my apology for those who expected and got disappointed I will fix that so definitely I will find the time to stitch a little bit together okay why well, cannot find a hole okay I'm gonna go from this side sometimes paint may be more close some hole okay my thumb sore just a minute I need a little bit rubber I do have a problem with my thumb I'm afraid that little funny bone grow right all right then here it's really it's it's a hurt in here I can't really push it even if I do like this it's hurt um, I don't know if I should go do some x-ray but I think that like arthritis bone I don't know I really don't want to have those kind of fingers but if that's what I will have that's what I will have gonna go here up and as you can see my thread is getting shorter and shorter I'm trying to copy and paste every time list of girls who stitch in this canvas together with me so always check if you maybe started just work on this canvas as well please check if you have your name under so we can add you if I'm missing on somebody oh I'm so happy that all my gifts that I sent as a giveaway I just recently got last confirmation that package received Oh, you don't understand how happy I am because from last year lots of packages got lost and I think two or yeah I think two people did not receive my prize I did not receive some prize that I won so this time girls in Canada US and Sweden they all receive Congrats one more time girls and I'm so happy that you got your package. So now I know that post workers work better, better than two years ago because on the beginning of pandemic, oh my goodness, so many packages got lost. And I keep following here uh, action Canada website that auction a whole bunch of stuff and most of them are last packages that didn't arrive to people and they sell them by containers so you can really see what's in it sometimes you can sometimes you don't but all the Amazon packages who lasted or oh, like full containers like some container could be like 240 300 packages so can you imagine how many people did not receive their packages where they waited so now was i um, was happy that all my gift was received i hope you enjoy okay my friends i hope you like this little short stitching together i hope you like my little tiny tip about waxing which is not really a tip but question was asked and I like to answer but usually answer I give in my next videos so if you have some questions of certain thing it means you need to follow my next video and listen and uh, hopefully I will answer that question for you Okay, everyone have a great day I love you 
hope you're doing really really good I hope the weather more sunny where you are and not as rainy as where is he, I am and the springtime is so close we are almost finished with winter and that's make me so happy the springtime is coming all right my friends thank you so much for stitching together with me we did good job and i will see you next time bye bye